Did you buy a full-size SUV and did not get the extended version? I know we did, so these are just a few options of, in this video of what we did to add more cargo space for our big-ass family. All right, what we got here is a 2019 Lincoln Navigator. It's the full-size SUV, but it's not the extended or L version, as Lincoln calls it. Um, ESV would be that of a Cadillac, you know, the XL for Yukon series, but those are the extended ones that give you about 15 more inches in the trunk room. We, my personal family, decided to go with the shorter version because we were all insistent on it fitting inside the garage. We didn't want to have a vehicle sitting outside, so we went back and forth. We do have three kids, sports. Um, there's different things from bats to shoulder pads for football, cleats, you name it. My son, One of my son's a catcher, so he has a big catcher's bag. And this right here, what we're looking at, is just not enough to cut it. Then we're always playing musical chairs with folding down, you know, the 60-40 the split. It's just too much of a hassle. And, you know, at times we regret not getting the uh, L version or the extended version. You know, we found a few different ways around that. What I'm going to show you here is the a Yakima Exo system and a, uh, a Thule cargo box that we utilize up top to give us extra square footage as far as space is concerned. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to show you and uh, take a look. The first accessory that we added was the Thule Motion XT XXL cargo box. Now, we opted to go for the glossy black edition. It adds 22 cubic feet of space that we can add backpacks, duffel bags, uh, baby, I've had high chairs in it before. I've had strollers, Bob jogging strollers. There's a lot of things that actually fit in this thing safely, securely, keeps your cargo dry, keeps it safe and secure as it locks as well on the side. So I added that on it and that was step number one. Step number two or accessory number two that we added was the Yakima Exo swing base system. Now, this bad boy is buildable depending on whatever you're using your vehicle for, camping, biking, you name it, even just road trips. There's different you know, cap capabilities of building it up, almost like a transformer. So this right here on the bottom, what you're seeing here is gonna be the main swing base. You have to then add on what they call a top shelf or a top deck. They both are lockable here and here. And so what I'm gonna do for you is kind of build it out for you real quick. Shouldn't take me but two minutes or so to get all these baskets on, but hang tight. Let me get on these uh, different options that we've got. They're actually really cool. The first item that we have here is the Ayakama Exo Cargo Locker. This thing is well, I believe, don't quote me on it, added an additional 10 uh, square feet of, of storage space as well, but it easily sits and slides in that bottom row. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it in here. Don't have the keys, but at which point I would lock this in place right here so this thing is secure and safe. The next thing I have, so the third piece to that puzzle is going to be the Yakima XO cargo basket. I mean, at times Yakima's use the word warrior with their load baskets, but this thing is just like the uh, storage locker is going to slide right into the bracket, drop down. I'll be able to tighten it up and lock into place. One of the additional features that this basket comes with is this wheel and handle option. And effectively what it does is it converts it over to a wagon. And these load wheels, I think off the top again in my head, they run about a uh, buck $39, $139 but it really just makes this thing into a full-blown cart. And you can use anywhere. This thing fits 10 by 10 canopies, fits Yeti coolers, size chest, igloo, you name it. On football days, baseball days, complete catcher's bag, canopy, can throw the uh, lawn chairs on top here. And of course I just utilize a kind of elastic net to go over and just make sure everything's secure as we're traveling down the highway. Um, but this is one cool feature that they have. They're this, these three wheels that bolt on. Really nice combo, has this great handle here and it makes this thing really much more effective and versatile. Get a ton of compliments, questions as I'm pulling it around, people wondering what it is. They've never seen an option like this and Yakima's actually had it out with their EXO system for uh, probably the better half of two years. So I'm gonna, Take these wheels off here because they cannot go on while there's a cargo box underneath it. It just won't fit for clearance. So I'm gonna strip these down real quick 
and then I'll get this on there and show you what the back looks like fully built out. And here we go, last piece of the puzzle again. It is that top warrior style cargo basket that sits on top. This thing again, sits right in the channel, the grooves, it's tightened up, it's then locked into place. And then I have just an additional cargo boss basket that I can throw things on that just are maybe oddly shaped and they fit in here safely itself. And anything that I do put up here again, I make sure it's tied down properly. And then also, you know, depending on what it is, I'll put it in a travel bag um, or a big crate and then tie that thing down as well. So it's protected from all the elements, but you know, this is really, you know, what we could do. They have an option for a flat shelf that goes across here. It's made out of wood and you can utilize it as a workstation. They have a bike rack option for up to two bikes that you can put on here that I do not have. Um, quite a few things. They have a cooking stove top now that I was just recently introduced to and I'll look at that in the future, but for now, these are the cargo options that we elected to go with because of the fact that we chose the non-extended full-size SUV. All right, so that's it. We basically have this thing fully built out. It's just about Thanksgiving, so we're gonna get loaded up and packed out and headed on the highway to celebrate the holiday. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Time-wise, it typically takes me about 10 minutes to get the top cargo box on and then about 15, 20 minutes to get the back built up, locked in, secure. Uh, but it's time. It's time to get packed up and ready to go on the highway. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll check you out next time.